Welcome to the Vitamin Chica channel. My name is Lynette and thank you so much for stopping at this week's video on probiotics. Last week I talked all about prebiotics and why they're so important. So if you missed it, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. I'm going to also put a link to another video I did on digestive enzyme since it's all about gut health. So the best way to keep up with all my videos is to subscribe. So just click that red subscribe button and by doing that you help other people find my channel too and get all this great information. Before I start talking about probiotics, I want to talk a little bit about the human body. Our bodies have 50 to 300 trillion bacteria and 95% of those bacteria, they live in our gut. We have all types of bacteria, thousands of different species and thousands of different strains, but that's why it's important to have a good balance in our gut. That's what we call having a good gut flora or a healthy microbiome. So if you do not have a healthy microbiome, you can get a lot of diseases and illnesses. Scientists say that 90% of illnesses can be traced back to the gut. And that's because 70% of our immune system is located in our gut. Not all bacteria are good bacteria. There's good and bad, but probiotics is definitely a good bacteria. And the way bacteria are classified as a probiotic is because they were isolated from a human, they're safe, they have some type of health benefit, and they can survive in your intestines. You may be thinking, how can I make sure I'm eating enough probiotics in my diet? And the natural sources that are high in probiotics are usually fermented foods like kombucha, kefir, miso. You can also eat yogurt, which is a really popular one that people think about when they think about live bacteria or probiotics. But if you do not eat these foods, you might want to think about supplementing because when you have a healthy gut flora, that means you absorb all the nutrients you eat all throughout the day much better. And also, if you have a bad diet, like you're eating junk food and artificial sweeteners, a lot of carbohydrates, that increases the amount of bad bacteria in your gut. So it's really important to add some good bacteria, like probiotics, to balance out your gut health. So let's say you decide you want to take a probiotic, but you look at the supplement facts panel and you're like, I don't understand what all this stuff means, or... I don't know how much I should take every day, or should I take a single strain probiotic, or should I pick a probiotic that has a whole bunch of different species and strains. So let's just break it down using an example of a popular probiotic supplement, Culturel. So in this supplement facts panel, you can see it has lactobacillus rhamnosus, and it says GG. The GG stands for the strain, and lactobacillus rhamnosus is the species. And the bacteria, it comes from the lactobacillus family of bacteria. So that's what that means. Now let's go to the milligrams. It says it has 40 milligrams and 10 billion CFUs. So CFU stands for colony forming units. So that means that these bacteria can form a colony or like a little group in your intestines and multiply because you want them to multiply and have a lot more good bacteria in your gut. So another thing you should notice about the cultural product, it also has inulin, which is a prebiotic. As I said, I'm going to have a link below to the prebiotic video I made last week. This GG strain is really popular because it has a lot of clinical studies to back up its claims. So some of the claims are that it treats and prevents some types of infections in your gut and intestines. It actually can prevent some types of allergic reactions. It boosts your immune response and it can help and prevent diarrhea. When you're looking to get a probiotic supplement, make sure you get a probiotic that has at least 5 billion CFUs per serving. And don't ever buy a probiotic that doesn't tell you how much CFUs per serving you're getting. If it only says milligrams, do not buy that probiotic supplement. Another good tip is to get a probiotic supplement, if you're getting it in capsules, that's delayed release. That assures you that the probiotics are not dying in the gastric acid juices and it can make it to the intestines so they can grow and flourish and all that. Another important thing to know is that if you want to get a probiotic for just overall gut health, 
I recommend getting a probiotic of at least three species. That's what I do. So you want a good balance of all the different types of bacteria in your gut. You can get a single probiotic like Culturel if you're getting it for a specific reason. You're having issues with your intestines and you're getting that because of that reason. But if you're just doing overall good probiotic, then I recommend at least three different species. In the last 20 years, the study of probiotics has gone way beyond just gut health. And they really try to hone in on this gut-mind connection. I touched on it a little bit earlier in this video, but they're really trying to see if what we eat affects how we feel mentally. So there can be some implications for people that have anxiety or depression, or if there's some implications for weight loss. And talking about weight loss, there's this one strain, Bacillus subtilis DE111. In one clinical study, it showed it reduced body fat by combining DE111 and protein beverages in women. Another good study was Probiosteo. They found that with these three strains of probiotics, they can reduce bone loss in postmenopausal women. Proby Defense is another one that has great clinical studies that shows that it can support your immune system and give you a boost. Adding probiotics to your diet is great, but you also want to prevent the dying off of all the natural good probiotics you have in your body already. So some things that can affect the amount of good bacteria in your gut are taking too many antibiotics. You take too many antibiotics, it just wipes out all the good and bad bacteria. Also, if you're not getting enough sleep, if you're stressed, that affects your good bacteria in your gut. Also, if you eat a lot of carbohydrates, sugar, artificial sweeteners, that also destroys the good bacteria in your gut. Some signs that you might need some more probiotics in your life is that you're craving sugar all the time, you might have some skin issues or some digestive problems. If you have any of those, you should definitely talk to your doctor about it and maybe suggest that you wanted to take some supplements to see if they'll clear up. And maybe your doctor would even recommend some kinds of species or strains that can help your specific ailment. But as always, I'm going to have links below for products as well as more articles and research. So you can check that out down in the description box below and make sure you like the video while you're there. There's so many different types of probiotics, it'll be difficult for me just to cover them all. But if you want me to talk a little bit more about probiotics, just let me know down in the comments. Or if there's any other topic you want to talk about, I would love to hear from you. And that might be the next video. But for today, that's it from me, the Vitamin Chica.